here. We're going. It's, uh, well, uh, yeah, we're going to go. We're going. Ah. I planned a little bit. Um, I really want to get in the plane, so we're probably going to expedite our pre-flight process just a little bit. Nothing um, horrendous. But um, I really want actual IFR stuff today. Uh, so I have a couple of options that I hope are still IFR. Otherwise, we will ho hopefully find something new. No. Um, uh, okay, so I'm looking at maybe we'll do that. Although, I see a couple of red spots down in Florida, and maybe we'll I'll, I'll see what the other what my planned flights are. Oh, and I'm supposed to check to make sure <laughs> I didn't mess anything up yet already. Okay, we're good. All right. Excellent. For now. So this one first, we were looking at... Now clear it. Those are both VFR. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, um, oh, that might work. We might be doing that one. I think we're doing that one. Okay. I think we're going to go for it. Clear it. I'll clear out. Um, we might go the opposite direction, though. Procedure. No, no, it'll be fine. Okay, so we are going to throw that back onto the map. We're starting at, let's go to Sky Vector. I got to get that up for you. Uh, I need this so I can read what I'm doing. Oh, I was going to do my yoke mount today. That's all right. We're fine. Ah. Um, so reason why I'm, I'm all flustery is, well, one, because I'm late. And two, I'm really excited about getting to this flight because I had a really interesting um, lesson on Friday that needs to go over here. And I want to practice what I practiced then. And I'll get into that um, kind of afterward. We'll see. I was planning on kind of doing the stream as usual <clears throat> and then doing a IRL flight debriefing afterward. So what? No, you have to flip it. What are you doing? Flip it. Okay. Sorry, it was giving me the wrong, the opposite direction for the route, and I don't know why. Okay, so seven whiskey four. Seven whiskey four. Excellent. Two kilo Oscar Mike Hotel. Excellent. Via Victor Tree Six. Is that can I can I ah no 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 what are you doing no 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 go away just V three six. Uh, do I have to put Emmy first? I just put Emmy first. Hang on. Uh, can I just delete? Okay. E M M I E. Victor Tree Six. Can I? Ah, no. Okay, screw you. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Why do you do this to me? What? No, no. Uh, okay. Oh, and it's not on the screen. La da da. There. Now are you good? Perfect. So now we'll just drag. We'll click and drag. That'll be better. 
if I can find it again. There it is. So we want Emmy going direct Emmy plan to Gordonsville Vortac. Boom. And then a uh, procedure. Um, yes. Looks good. Look, oh, because it's V38. <laughs> That's why. Woo. So, departure procedures. From Lake Anna to Orange County. No, nay. Boom. Boom and boom. All right. So, first. We'll check weather and we'll see about what our takeoff minimums. Takeoff minimums for Lake Anna. Yes. Lake Anna. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Lake. What? Hang on. I shall search. Hello, hello, how's it going? We're trying to go really fast through free flight. Lake Anna. There, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm... I like the name of this city. It can go one of two... It can go one of... It can go either of two ways. <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. And I'll leave it there. To your imagination. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm doing quite well. I'm excited for this to practice what I learned on Friday, kind of, and probably do very poorly at it, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Um, so we're taking off from Seven Whiskey for Lake Anna in, in from here, and I'm not sure which way is worse. Uh, Bum Pass in Bum Pass, Virginia. We'll do that one. Uh, takeoff minimums are checking our weather, weather, runway, winds are calm apparently, so we'll do either or. Potentially taking off to six so that we can do stuff. Because, <laughs> nope, sorry, runway eight. So that we go that way and then that way over to Emmy. So. Climb heading of 85 or 65 to 800 before turning. So basically, climb runway heading to 800 before turning. Uh, obstacle notes, trees, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, buildings, uh huh, yes, 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 excellent. Okay, so climb runway heading to 800 before turning. That is our takeoff procedure. Um, so then we go from, so we're going to potentially plan for taking off runway 8, so runway heading up to 800, direct to Emmy, then via Victor Tree 8 to the Vortac for the, ah, um, on the <laughs> too thick radial, but it'll be the ba -ba -ba -da -bum, approach, V-O-R-D-M-E, um, oh, I guess that's kind of basic, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, we got other stuff to, uh, focus on tonight, I suppose. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a fun one. Gordonsville. Okay, so VOR DME from the initial approach fix and basically straight down and circling. Excellent. You attempted an LNAV approach today in the same. Yes. How did it go? And so the LNAV is just the lateral navigation. So it is different from a localizer, but similar concept-ish. Yes, correct. Potentially. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to differentiate these things. So, yeah. So how did it go? And... Am I correct? <laughs> um, 
Yes. Good. Excellent. So then we go to our this thing. Where is it? BRDME. Oh, and I'm supposed to be doing like alternate minimums and stuff and oh, yoy, yoy. Or not alternate minimums, alternates potentially. You ended up on the runway. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Why is there an LOL? <laughs> I'm excited to hear this story. Uh, so we are preparing for the VORDME Alpha at Orange County Asuka Mike Hotel. I've been having a thing recently where my mind decides that it wants to do literally everything other than the ICAO. So, like, I'm at Asuka, Mexico, Honolulu, and I'm like, no, that is incorrect. Why are you doing this? Trying to learn the G1000 and how to input all of this. That, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't even attempted that yet, so good for you on that. And you'll get there. More as you, as you do more of that experience, you're going to get more and more comfortable with it, and it'll be good. <laughs> so was it just just somewhat unfamiliarity or was it certain things that you're I, I don't know I haven't I haven't really done the glass cockpit stuff much yet so what were the what were kind of the issues and what things do I need to start looking out for when eventually I get into that stuff um so we're yes Asuka Mike Hotel not Honolulu it is up to date excellent the Vortac we will put in is 115.6 yep Approach course will be 26 degrees, um, not available because alpha, airport elevation, 464, circling to um, take off, uh, alternate takeoff minimums, and or non-standard takeoff minimums, and non-standard alternate minimums. Circling to runway 26, uh, not authorized at night. Okay. Um... So hopefully, oh, uh, so, okay, so then I have a question. If you go like this, you can't circle the two six, so can you circle around like that? So do you have, so can you, can you, can you, do you have to go in like that? Do you have to like write in like that or do you have to? midfield over like that or doesn't it matter uh oh sorry uh it's a real pain with the xbox controller and kind of glitchy okay that makes a lot of sense that that'll do it with a mouse though it'll probably be easier for for me uh, i have issues with putting stuff into places hello how's it going flying the new beach 18 ifr into kalispell nice nice excellent how's that going is that a glass cockpit as well Excellent. Very fun. Um, so I guess I'll have to find out. When local altimeter setting not received, use Charlottesville and increase all MDA 80 feet. Helicopter visibility, don't care. Sorry. Missed approach. Climbing. Right turn. Da, da, da. Uh, to 3500 direct Gordonsville Vortac and hold. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> um, 2,000. So we got to buy 2,000. Oh, buy 2,000? Hang on. Yes, okay. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. Um, yes. I got a ride in a Beach 181's pretty neat aircraft. Excellent, very cool. Not at all, way old school. Excellent. Can't even couple the CDI to the GPS. Awesome. Awesome. Very fun. So you're, you're doing it all old school in the IFR. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, and then AWOS 118.075. Uh, approach and con Potomac approach control 132.85. And I don't need to care about that. Uh, Unicom 122.8. Yes. And lighting like that is pilot controlled, I think. I'm not sure. So we will end up coming from the Gordonsville Vortac 
uh, above 3,500, get on that 26 degrees at dummy, we will, which is five from the vortex. We will start our descent still on 26 degrees to 2,500 by M Mona, uh, which is the final approach fix. And by 14.7, get down as quickly as possible to 2,000. Um, yes. Yes. And by 14.7, which is Maddles. Give dummy Mona Maddles. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So we're going to hope for the best, I guess. Uh, although I should... Mm, I'm going to check weather. It's VFR. And the TAF is... Uh, it's okay. I'm pretty sure. Because within one hour, either side of estimated time of arrival... What time is it? Uh, I have to change that. Estimated time, departure time? Um, probably about there. Um, there. No, there. There. Go. Why you do this to me? N now. Oh, that's why. So we'll go like that. Sorry, I'm just having issues with four flight and it's like, ah! Screw it. We're fine. Yes. Within one hour each side of arrival time. It has to be three statute miles. Visibility. And a thousand foot ceilings. So that you don't have to do an alternate. However, yes. And since I am doing the VOR DME, um, if I what if there was no published procedure, sorry, I'm trying to remember the written stuff. If there was no published procedure, I would have to file an alternate regardless. However, since I have the procedure, it needs to be VFR within one hour, either side of estimated time of arrival, in order to not fly, file an alternate. I'm pretty certain, but I'm not sure. Uh, what's my flight plan? Um, I will, I will, I will get it up quick. Um, and I could actually, I guess, type it in quick here. I'll try and uh, do it properly. Seven whiskey four to, uh, oops, capitals, capitals, uh, whiskey four. Emmy. <laughs> um. Uh, that and where's the thing? Uh, there. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> We're almost there. I'm so sorry. Uh, da, da. Boom. That should be correct. Uh, plus the procedure in there, but yeah, it's the VOR DME Alpha. Because again, the the GPS is ready to go apparently in the plane that I fly, but. I'm not sure quite if it is in yet. It wasn't on Friday. I'm hoping by the next time I have a lesson that it is in and I haven't heard anything, so we'll see. All right. I think we got everything. Um so now we just got to do a little nav map and 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 then and then we'll get in the ah the plane and we'll do what we're doing and I'm very excited and I hope it goes well. Otherwise, you're going to see me completely embarrass myself, although you probably will see that anyway. But I'm, I'm going to try and do it, do proper things. Just how I learned it on Friday, kind of. Uh-huh. Um, and then... Uh -huh. hmm? I'm getting better at this stuff. Uh, ooh, um... Uh, no. Yes? Why won't... <laughs> uh, shoot. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um. No. Boom. And we're just gonna go to give...
add to flight plan. And I think that's it. Now, where is it? <laughs> it's over here. Uh, we're in... <laughs> where are we? Virgi Virginia? I think we're in Virginia. <laughs> uh, I know geography. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, yes. There. That should be good. You have the sim up seal joint? Excellent. Though you think you'll stick to VFR? Okay. All right. Sound good. Um, and you'll have to see if you want to. There is. There's something that I'm going to try. Um, you'll have to see if you want to as well. And I'm just going to throw it at some point. So, yes. Oh, and I didn't even put it up. So, I'm sorry. Uh, so, we'll put that there. So, you didn't have to watch me struggle through a little nav map. Um, this thing is here. Um, and then... Where's the thing? Flight sim. There. And then... Um, I wanted that up and... Oh, and I was gonna shoot. Um, go like... Can I... Yeah, can I go like that and then... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting a couple things together and then we'll be good to go. Oh, yeah, well, that thing. But I wanted to, this one can go like so. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm going to set it here. And we're going to leave it there and there and there for now. And I got to... Okay. <clears throat> there. <gasps> oh. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is here. We're good there. Um, hide plate. Okay. <clears throat> Seven whiskey four. Seven whiskey four. <laughs> oh, I still love that city. <laughs> um, we're gonna start off. What? Is there no parking anywhere else except on that side? And I'm just gonna have to taxi down. And okay, that's fine. Okay. Good. All right. Making sure everything is proper and that's going to be wonky. Boom. Excellent. Um, and we are going to do flight tracking this time. At some point, I am going to not do the flight tracking because my instructor did say at some point, we're not going to have it. And I said, okay, that's fine. It's not fine, but it is fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. But I do. I do want to work on that stuff. So at some point, we will not have four flight tracking. And we will hope for the best. Okay. I'm so ready. And I got to get my scratch pad up. I was practicing clearances. I'm getting to a point, kind of, hopefully, I think. So, bleh. I'm at least getting, I don't know, somewhat more familiar with it. So craft, and I'm going to be cleared to, I forgot where I'm going, K-O-M-H, but that's, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, gosh. Oh, never gets old. <sighs> okay, cleared to, where am I going? Orange County. We're going to Orange County via... So we're leaving Little Lake Anna. We're leaving Lake Anna. So it's going to be Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I'm making my craft route. So my anticipated craft route is from Lake Anna, so seven whiskey four, 
fly runway heading, which is whatever. It's either 85 or 265, uh, up to 800 feet before turning. Or, yep. And it'll depend <laughs> which runway I'm taking off from. And then turn direct to ME. And I guess I didn't figure out what. Mm, shoot. I didn't figure out what altitude. Hang on. I need my web. Uh, so two, 2,500 is the uh, one thing. Mm, minimum en route altitude. So we're going that-ish way. So we're going to at least do 40. Uh, so 4,000. But... Uh, uh, we'll do 4,000. I kind of don't like it, but we'll be okay with it. Back in the sim. Okay. All right. So getting my craft back on track. Uh, two Emmy. Sorry. Uh, and then the Victor... Three eight to Gordonsville and the V O R D M E Alpha to Orange County. Oops. Um, so I don't know. They might say we're we're gonna expect. 4,000, let's say five minutes after a climb. Perhaps they'll say like, I don't know, they'll say, start off with two, th I, don't, I don't know, frequency is going to be, <laughs> ah, uh, bum ah. there's so much that goes into this. Service, airport marks, communication, CPAP, Potomac, clearance delivery, phone, so I would have to call them on the phone, Potomac approach and departure control, 126.75. I don't see any flight service. So it, what, it's just straight up on the phone. Potomac approach, potentially 126.75. Still trying to understand all that. Um, so 126.75, otherwise CTAP is 122.9, Uh, transponder, they'd give me something, otherwise 1200, void, if not off in 10 minutes, and I think that's it. Okay. Sorry. So we do our pre-flight. We'll turn. Oh, well, no, this is fine. I think kind of. Okay. We'll do this for now. So that we can see. Um, I'm going to move. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Apparently, it doesn't want me to. Well, that's odd. Okay, we'll see what happens. So we'll take the master lock off. Control lock off. Um, turn on all the... The light... The, the, the light. Eh. The pito... No, what are you doing? Why isn't it allowing me to click anything? Oh, I think I got to restart it. Well, not restart, but we'll just r restart and go back in. That's odd. <sighs> All right, now we wait. <laughs> and let's try this again. Yoke, uh, what are you doing? That's a pretty star. Why can't I click anything?
I can click this stuff. But I can't click the plane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so we're going to go to main menu and we're going to try this again. What is going on? I'm so ready for this. World map. We'll try there. Parking. We'll try a different parking spot. Set as departure. And fly. And hope for the best. Oi, 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 oi. I'm going to check the volume. Oh, you know what? I bet I didn't. Uh, see, that's a, this is why I need a ch stream checklist. Is it working? <gasps> there we go. Excellent. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. However, why isn't the desktop audio working? Properties. Okay. I'm hoping that it's just because there's not a whole lot of sound going on. I don't know. Can you hear that? We'll see what happens. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> on track we can kind of see so we're, we're just gonna leave it like this so control lock goes off um pito goes on nav light don't have a strobe beacon taxi landing light um so control lock goes out master goes on because you need power first Pito, nav, beacon, taxi landing, flaps go down. Check fuel, we will, oh, beautiful. Uh, do that, we'll fill up before we head out. So we go outside the airplane. It's so cool. Uh, oh, I love it. Go, it's good, good, lights are good. It's like there's a second moon. What is that? Is that supposed to be like a spotlight? I'm so confused. Okay. Lights are good. Lights are good. Flaps look good. Excellent. Awesome. Back inside. Oh, well, grass the pito too. Make sure it's getting warm. Awesome. Good. That's no move. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh, no. I don't think I'll be able to dodge anything with this Cessna. Light for fuel pump? But it's just hovering there. That's the moon. That doesn't look like it has anything attached to it. I don't know. That's okay. It's a space station. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Uh, and then I turn everything off. Flaps stay down. Ba -ba -ba. Master's off. Thank you. And we go outside. What server am I on? East. Sorry, that was strange. Yes, US East. Not main menu. Resume. Okay. Static port is good. Vents are good. Pito's unblocked, as is the drain hole. Fuel vents good. Tires look good. Flap looks attached, as do the aileron. That aileron. Baggage door is shut. Uh, elevators good, rudders good, trim tabs good, antennas all look excellent. Yeah, <laughs> questionably. Flap is good, other aileron is good, other tire is good, vents are good. Check the oil around six or five. Um, drain a little bit of, of fuel from the sump, also sump the wings. Check the leading edge of the prop. Alternator belt is tight. Um, <clears throat> Air intake is clear. Exhaust pipe 
is attached and and solid enough clearance on the nose wheel um and visually check the fuel tanks however we're going to fill up um and the nose wheel looks good and attached and then we check our uh checklist for the plane the plane the plane Quantity, quality, cap strength, vents, engine oil, belt, prop, air intake, exhaust, stall indicator. Yeah, the stall indicator is clear. I'm not sticking my mouth on it. Pito and static ports, gear, tire, brakes, antennas, ties, shock, baggage door, final walk around. Okay. So then we put all of our stuff inside because I've got so much gear now. Um, and then we fuel up. We pull it out we pull out the we unchock it we pull it out to the fuel truck janky fuel truck janky lovable fuel truck fill it up excellent and then we pull it out to the proper area not sure why you don't see me well i will go on west for a little bit and f yeah i'll go on west for a little bit and then i will pop back onto east after finishing <clears throat> pre-flight so remind me to go back to east unless you just want to go to west whatever works but just just remind me <laughs> um yes so now we have dragged the plane out it's good it's excellent we do our walk around make sure everything's shut and good and awesome so we get our hobs time fuel is on both circuit breakers do 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 Alternate static, haven't done that yet. Brakes, pedal test, passenger brief, no talking during takeoff and landings. Seatbelts on at all times. Exit out the doors to the left and right. For now, make sure they're shut tight and locked. If we lose power on the rollout, we stop on the runway. If it is after takeoff and below 1,000 feet, we'll land straight ahead. If it's above 1,000 feet, um, we will turn around and get back on the runway. I also think that I should potentially adjust that i think that's probably adjustable now with the the takeoff minimums so looking at like the obstacle things i probably should take that into consideration for my personal if we lose power after takeoff uh where are we gonna go but i won't this time i will i'm gonna get to like the full stuff at some point but i'll i'll do it next time maybe um, I'll, I'm going to switch back to East since I'm remembering it and see what happens. Resume. Okay. Goot. Sea track is back and locked. Excellent. Chicken is back and locked. Avionics are off. Autopilot is irrelevant. Carb heat is off. Beacon goes on. Beacon, beacon, beacon. A blinking beacon. Prime it. Ah. Putting the hand down. Uh, priming. One, two, and three. Mixture goes rich. Throttle goes slight. Brakes and clear prop. Master on. Um, ba -ba -ba -da. Excellent. Make sure it's not going too high. Oy. <clears throat> um, and this, nope, other way. Nope, perfect, okay. Throttle, brakes, clear prop, master on, make start, oil pressure and flaps up. AV Oops, that's the wrong button. Flaps up, oil pressure, good, good. Avionics on, nav lights, boom, and taxi. Frequencies. So now we go to our. Ah. Ooh. We are apparently marginal VFR now. Zero knots, so we'll take off wherever we want. I don't think there was 
Let me check. Um, no calm wind runway, so we'll just choose. I think I think we want to do a zero eight. Yes, zero eight we shall do. What was I doing? Frequencies. So we're going to be... Okay, so... At some point, 30 minutes before the flight, at least, I would file the flight plan. And then... Oh. Oh, we're like right here. <gasps> okay, that's cool. Um, I file the flight plan... And then, like right now, I would call up on the phone <clears throat> and I would say, uh, Potomac Approach, um, Cessna Hotel Tree One Delta One at Lake Anna, Virginia, seven whiskey four. Uh, I don't know, requesting IFR clearance. <laughs> Or something about having an IFR flight plan. And then they'd say, uh, then they would they would give me my, my, my clearance, I think. So then they would say all the stuff. And then I would say back, Cessna Hotel, or no, I wouldn't have to say that. Cleared to Orange County. Climb, main, maintain runway heading. Fly, fly runway heading up to 800 before turning right turn they'd probably give me a vector to Emmy I don't know I don't know how these things work and then as filed uh, climb maintain we'll just say 2,000 expect 4,000 in five minutes I don't know frequency 122.9er for now it's clock 1200 void if not off in one zero minutes yeah I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. So we did that. And so we put our frequencies in. Um, I want Gordonsville. So 115.6, which is this thing. 115.6. And flip it. And... 1 to 2.9. I have, I have the Garmin 430, like a little app thing that I can put up here. And at some point I'll put it on here and I'll work on that. But it is not this day. So many things I plan to do and yeah. Okay. Frequencies. And then we do the thing. METAR. Here we go. Live weather. We're on live time. Excellent. METAR. Lake Anna, no METAR available. Well, we're going to use this one then. Yeah, we're going to use this one. So it's, it is, it's Lake Anna. Um, the 15th at 0355 Zulu. So it is most recent. It's automated. Winds are calm. Three statute miles visibility. Clear. And the, so it's marginal VFR because it is not greater than three statute miles. <laughs> I, I got to work on, I got to work on that stuff again. It all just leaks out when I don't use it enough. Temperature and dew point are the same. Altimeter is 3000. So we will hope for the best. Um, bleh, Sorry. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Why aren't you let? <gasps> it's not letting me click things again. Okay, mm, I'm gonna get upset. Why? Hang on. Controls options. My mouse. Why? Ah, 
Three to five statute miles visibility is MVFR. Okay, so it is the five. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mm. Oops. No. So can I? I don't want to mess anything up, but what? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump. Well, I'm gonna jump out, and then I'm gonna jump right back in, and we're gonna go and hope for the best. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why my mouse is deciding to not uh, work with the plane. It's literally just the plane. Hello. We're getting there. We're so close. And all my stuff is going to be messed up. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So we were on frequencies and we were getting our altimeter so that it can be proper. We're looking for... Excellent. You better work. Oh my gosh. Why? I will try changing something. I will try changing something on the mouse and hopefully it like kicks it. <sighs> Camera. I don't use this for the, we'll, we'll go like that. Yeah. We'll clear. Oops. So we're going to clear the current input and we're going to, um, good. Excellent. Validate. But it was right click. Oops. Please enter a name. Uh, no. Camera. And so it was this. Ah, no. Uh, I don't want to do anything. Nope, nope, nope. Go back. Um, so now it's good. Validate. Good. Apply and save. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? We're gonna try we're gonna try one more time. We're gonna try one more time and I'm gonna try a different parking spot. And then we might just go with it and hope for the best. And we'll figure out how to do the altimeter with the keys. Um so I'm gonna start here, departure, fly. Uh what is this garbage? Is this is this a bug? Is this a bug in the new update <laughs> that I can't utilize my Cessna 150? Or 152? I don't actually remember. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna get in the we're gonna get in the plane. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. Oh, we're at the fuel pumps. We'll do that in a bit. Let me do my stuff. Thank you. Okay. We're gonna hurry up and get everything done. Um, so we're gonna go like this. This goes on. Our pito nav beacon, excellent. Okay, so, um, all that's good. Flaps word, oops, wrong button. Flaps are good. We're gonna quick do altimeter before it goes wonky. So, beacon goes on. Beacon goes on. Uh, well, master and um, altimeter. Ugh. Oops. And hope that that is correct. Our altitude should be 351. Sorry, 351. I don't like it. 
Rechecking the altimeter. No, it says three zero zero zero. So we're gonna go like, oops. Bring it down to two four five. Correct. So we just gotta remember that it is point four off. Point point four off. We'll see what happens. Um. You wish it was a 150? <laughs> okay. Is it lightning? That could have been just the beacon. My bad. Okay. Doing the stuff. Uh, parking brake is off. We're fueling up. Excellent. Excellent. We got to re-put in our flipping... I wonder if it's a key thing. If once I hit the keys, it doesn't let me use my mouse anymore. That would be interesting, because I can still use it, correct? Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. So it goes like, mixture goes full rich, throttle slight, uh, flaps are good, prime it, excellent, control E. Okay, yoke still works. So my, my hypothesis was incorrect. Uh, so now we 115.6. Stop it! I have my feet on the brakes. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. My feet were on the brakes, just so you all know. I just apparently do not like to work. 115.6. 115.6. Okay. And flip. And we did our clearance, and so we're going to go, and we're going to do our run-up. And we're going <laughs> to go right through this. Oop, break, 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 break. We're hurt. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. Run-up. Um, <laughs> Excellent. Instruments, good, 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 good. We're going to recheck our altimeter in a bit. Okay. Brake set, fuels on both, trim for takeoff, flight controls, boom, 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 and boom, boom. Excellent. Um, instruments, mixtures, best in power. So, well, yeah, we'll just leave it there. Primer's in and locked. Looks good. 1700. You think you see me, but it's not a 152. Okay. <gasps> well, I, I... Wait, what do you mean? Like, it's something completely different? That's weird. I've never been anything but. Uh, 1700. We click the mag. Excellent. Watch that drop. Ip. And up, and watch that drop, and up. Carb heat goes out, watch that drop, and up. And I have to remember that part of the story. Um, yes. Vacuum is good, amps and volts good, oil pressure and temperature excellent, idle check closed, perfect. It looks like a bonanza. That's so weird. Because they're, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird. This is, And this is stock. I'm pretty sure. This, yeah. Okay, so we're still good there. So we're still 0.04 off. Sorry. 0 0.4. 0 0.04. It's 0 0.04. Sorry. Uh, no. Silly, silly, silly. Okay, we're good. Good, good, good. All right. Um, and we're just going to take off from here, I think. And I think this is going to be 2-6. Yeah, I think we're taking off 2-6, so we'll just deal. Um, so our runway heading, keep runway heading of 265, and we will be turning left 
after 800. So maintain 265 until 800 feet left direct to Emmy. Okay. Where are we? Traffic. Lake Anna. Nope, not that one. There you go. Sectional. So usually I go with whatever city is closest. The closest, closest it says is Beaver Dam. I'm going to go with Lake Anna. We're going to go with Lake Anna. Lake Anna traffic. Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Departing runway 26 to the southwest. Lake Anna. I okay. Oh, it's very small. It's very small. That's okay. Cool. Oop. Okay. Oop. So we're gonna. We're just gonna do a regular takeoff. Oop. Two five five. Runway heading is two six five, is what they say. And again, that's something where it's you're supposed to keep two six five. However, you also have to take into account how your thing is correct. So should I be going two six zero because of potential issues within the thing hmm although I think I could just be off we're gonna maintain 265 while keeping an eye on this and hope that it keeps us centered on the runway and if it doesn't we'll follow whatever our uh, thing says I think Although, mm, I don't remember. So, 265. Um, yeah, 265 looks like it's doing it. So, we're going to follow 265. <laughs> uh, full throttle. Oops. Rotate, nice and gentle. Climb at a nice rate, excellent. And we need to get to 800 feet before turning. Can we ident? Up, ah, maintaining runway heading to 800 feet. What's the whiskey compass say? I don't know. <laughs> Oops. So I, I should take, I, yeah. So I should look at that once I'm on the runway, check what that says. Because that's probably what it is. Oops. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Uh, climbing to 800 feet. And I guess I will. I'll wait to actually look at the ident oh and then I would well we'll see so I'm at uh, 351 so 11 all right and turning nice and gently like direct to Emmy there Line up the DG right before you take the right. Right, right, yeah. And I did that, but that's why that okay, so that's why um 
I was looking at it and I was just turned kind of wonky like yeah <laughs> yeah it was my mistake I was doing silly things so we're going two two zero to Emmy getting up to four thousand we're attempting to eye dance And it sounded like I heard it proper. So, excellent. So, we're there getting up to 4,000. Although, I did say the whole two th climb, maintain 2,000, expect 4,000 five minutes after departure. Uh, but, so I would call. Where are my things? there and checking checking um those things so i'm thinking i'm in potomac approach hang on Washington Center. So is that who I would call? We'll just go with that for now, I guess, because where am I looking? <laughs> checking, checking. And we'll go ahead and Keep climbing. It is Potomac. So is a Potomac approach. See, that's what I thought, and that's what I thought, like, I, I briefed, but... I'm trying to see where I see that on the sectional, or is that part of um, looking at the chart supplement? <laughs> Getting back on 220. And then I have to cross the waypoint. It's not waypoints on the low en route are not flyby waypoints, correct? <sighs> like you have to actually have to cross it, correct? <sighs> it is there. Okay, that's okay, so that's what I thought. Oops. So looking at, the, so for the low on route, the, those frequencies are based on, or that's for on route stuff. When you're just coming off of an airport, you use whatever's on the chart supplement. Okay. I'm sorry. Ah. You don't know why, but your plane keeps wanting to bank. Interesting. Is there a wind? Um, or is something stuck? Is it a glitch? <sighs> Oop. Okay. Oh my gosh. So on my four flight, it has like a thing out in front of my plane. So should I be following that? Sorry, this is new. There's like a blue line out in front of my plane. Uh, so I should be 
Should I be turning in res <gasps> That's so cool. I'm sorry, like you guys can't see it. But I haven't seen this before. This is new to me on four flight. Oh, 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 banking too much. We're gonna cross we're gonna cross. We're gonna cross Emmy. And then we're gonna bank. Alright, we are getting on to Victor Tree 8. And it's it's got a little curve and it's showing me where I'm going. Right, the blue line is my predicted flight path. I hadn't seen that before. That's, oops, amazing. And we're not going to bust. We're not going to bust. We're not going to bust. Powering out. Three, one, eight. Um, so three, two-ish. Slightly under three, two. Bringing it back up. 4,000... Three, one, eight. Oh, shoot. This was supposed to be <gasps> IFR, and for this, I kind of. Mm, all right. Um, shoot. It is. It's full VFR now. Gosh darn it. Mm. Well, I'm going to bury my head in the instruments for our next. Oh, and we didn't put nav lights, taxi lights. Excellent. Okay. And we're going to continue. I'll bury my head in the instruments for, yeah. So we're following Victor 38. We're on 320. It can be set to 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, etc. <gasps> okay. Is that in the little settings wheel? Because new instructor also taught me about the um, extended center lines on airports when they're in your, like, plan. And that's amazing. <laughs> There's so many fun features. And yes. I'm still working on understanding all of them and getting them. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And I did. I just used this on Friday and I didn't see that. So I wonder, is it just for the sim? Somewhere in there. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. And I'm trying to remember how. I'm sorry. How far off can you be from, like, your Victor airway? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Should always be available. Okay, interesting. Maybe I just haven't been close enough to notice it. All right, so we've been in IMC. <laughs> Pretend we've been in IMC for a while. And, um, oh no, we have lost our engine. So we're gonna pretend we can't see anything. We're still in IMC. First thing we check, carb heat. Pull that out. Make sure it's good. Excellent. We pitch for best glide. We think that it is 70. Uh, we're talking to ATC. We'll let them know what's going on. We'll check our mixture. Uh, pitching for best glide. And they're going to send us over to Louisa. Um... We are <laughs> checking all our things. Mixture, fuel, throttle, yeah. Um, primer, master mags. Uh, we want to make sure we're still going proper direction. And we are hoping we're going to make it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, four nautical miles either side. Thank you very much. And you think you turned to the wrong VOR? Uh, so it's GVE Golf Victa Echo Gordonsville. So we are coming up on 3000 and we are not going the proper direction. So we're going to go like this. And every once in a while, we get a bump of energy. We're going to still pitch for best glide. <laughs> I don't know. And then it shuts down again. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, pitching for best glide again. <laughs> this might not work. Pitching for best glide. Because we're still in IMC. We can't see anything. That's why. There. So we're turning some more. Oh, we're not at best glide at all. And all of a sudden we get a bump of energy. <laughs> and then it shuts down again. Pitching for best glide. Ah. Uh. Pitching for best glide. We're going where we're supposed to go. Ooh, that's too far. Hi, yi, yi. Trusting instruments. Hoping for the best. And at 800 feet, <laughs> we'll see if we can visually land this. Bump of energy. And down it goes. We're probably not going to make this, but we're still going to try. So I might cheat a little bit and kind of get over. Bump of energy. See if it makes it. And down it goes. Oop. Best glide. Oops. That's not good. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm terrible. All right. <sighs> okay, so where's the runway? <laughs> Oops. I don't even know if this one has lights, I guess. Oops. Oh, there it is. Maybe, potentially. <laughs> well, and maybe we'll have to, uh, no. Mm. Ugh. So I'm going to cheat just a little bit. I'm going to get back up to 800 and around over <laughs> the thing. Oh. 
Yep. Or I should just try, see what happens. This did not go the way that I planned. <laughs> All right, 800 feet. Can we make the runway? Let's do it. Oop. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to hit the trees. Shoot, 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 shoot. <gasps> oh, we're going to make it. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible, but we made it. <laughs> so now we're going to take off again. Yay. Ba -ba -da -bum, boop. And we'll head back on our way. Okay, so that was terrible. Um, I'll go over how terrible it was on once we look at little now map. So that was what <laughs> we worked on on Friday. We went and did a procedure, and then all of a sudden he threw emergency procedures at me because he had had one exactly like that. He was in IMC and lost lost his engine. New instructor. And yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna get back on uh, Victor <laughs> three eight and the rest of the flight plan, and it'll be good. Well, okay, so I guess I'll debrief all the things that I did wrong. Um, I, I kept going outward instead of direct to the runway, so I lost a lot of altitude that way. Um, and then when the engine started up again and then went down, I forgot to repitch for best glide. And we're going to go direct to the VOR. Oh, the moon's so pretty. You saw it all from the air. <laughs> it was it was terrible. Oh gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully fly this properly. Uh, so uh, so we're gonna go clear, clear. So direct to. Oh well, actually, um, please say you work. Um. Yes, excellent. So you need to go this way, and we'll center you. Go direct to the VOR. Oh, there we go. Bup, bup, bum, boop. So t 290. Whoop, 290. Oh, here we go. Okay, thank you. Oh, also carpet in. We got a little bit of misting. Ironically, there was an airport right beneath me. Never would have seen it in IMC. Well, uh, but okay. So that's the thing is because <gasps> there was. What the heck? Well, and the, it wasn't. Oh, it was on my low on. Well, without my hang on. <gasps> it doesn't. It doesn't show it on the on route. Um, it just shows it on my aeronautical. However, I feel like ATC probably would have given me that one over the other one then potentially i guess i don't know interesting oh <laughs> well whoops that would have worked probably a little bit better but the uh, the other thing was i was i was trying to recreate how we did it and his story too um so it was we were at four thousand that's that. That's why I was like, eh, I kind of should have done six thousand. We we would have made it if I would have been at six thousand. I think we would have made it. 
Uh, so that's why we choose higher altitudes, <laughs> just in case. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was a very interesting experience and something that I'm really grateful for. Um, and he said that he's like the only CFII that teaches that stuff, <laughs> which I think is very strange because it seems like it should be one of those things that you do. Where am I going now? There I am. Okay. Getting back on course. You think it was just a grass strip. Right. And, and that's something that, uh, so I'm like, do, do I get into the story now <laughs> or do I tell it all, uh, in the debrief afterward? So basically if he hadn't seen the numbers, on the runway, they might not have made it sort of thing. So I don't know if the grass strip would have been a possibility. And that, and that's why too, if there weren't lights, which there were on that one, I guess. So that worked out fine. Yeah. <laughs> so it, of course, in like in via, it's something that I hadn't actually thought of all the differences for VFR flying and IFR flying. If you're in IMC, what things do you do? What things can you do? And then if you can, if you can break out of clouds at the bottom, hopefully you'll, you can find a good spot if you don't quite make whatever ATC recommends question mark. Um, but, oh, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm making sure I'm doing proper things. Oh, procedure, uh, approach, VOR, DME, da, 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 add to route. Excellent. So we'll get back up to 4,000, and then we, once we hit the vortex, So we're above the 3,500. Oh, and then I was, hang on. Ah, putting up the, this thing. Oh, I didn't put a little nav map up. Gosh, darn it. Sorry. Little nav map there. There. <laughs> All right. So we got our procedure there. I hope, I hope you can see it. Um, oops, um, boop. Oh no, oh no, oh my gosh. S uh, stalling, so we're awesome. Excellent. And bring it up gently. <laughs> I don't like that they keep the physics going when you have it paused. However, something to remember. So we're gonna hit the vortex. We're very off, so we're going to turn, 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 although we are shoop, 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 shoop. Hit that 4,000, get back on track. All right, good. Coming back in, we'll hit the vortex, and then we will get start working on getting down to 3,500. And ATC would yell at me because I went too high. Although technically, <laughs> cancel IFR. Go visual. All right. and start descending. 
And we are on our procedure. Going to 26 degrees. So I need to flip that. Um, new. New? No, new. And descend. Oops. Ah. This is terrible. Two, six. Okay. And getting back on. We overshot a little bit. Coming back out and descending. Bringing it down to the green. You're tempted to get the IFR handbook just so you understand all this. What don't you understand? Ask questions. I will try to answer, and Charlie will answer better if he's still here. <laughs> okay, so we're getting down to the, around the top of the white arc. Uh, we're descending. Keeping at around that-ish speed. Descending to 3,500 um, by dummy. Getting back on our VOR radial, which is 2.6. So we need to turn this way a little bit. Um, but also, yes, check, check the handbook for actual <laughs> information and, and knowledge. All right, so it's calm, so we can go wherever. And we're not allowed to circle to 2-6 at night, so we're just going to go to, what's it? So we're at 3,500, and stay there. Staying there, powering up just a smidge, and getting back on track to dummy. You're just not familiar with all the procedures. They're actually kind of fun once once you get into them. Um, so yeah, you could. It could be it could be a hobby. <laughs> so we're getting to dummy, not getting below thirty five hundred. All right, so we've passed dummy. We can start descending to Mona at 20, so get to 2,500. Um, power goes out. Keep on descending to 2,500, following that radial, which is 2,6. So we're on it, get back to it. Hello, hello, how's it going? Oh, uh, I want to see what it is. Very excellent. It looks amazing. All right, and back. And continuing. Ah, to 2,500 on the radial. Getting back onto it. 2,500 by Mona. I don't think the other thing that I was planning on doing is going to work. <laughs> um, or I have to break off now. I'm trying to think. So. Our battery is dead. <laughs> so what do we do? We're going to hope that four flight works <laughs> for this. Um, yeah, so we're going to go direct and hope for the best.
So we're going to stay. Elevation is 464. We're going to stay. Um, we're going to get to 1464. So we'll just say 1500 by the extended center line. <laughs> Um, and this might, this might not work like it does in real life and apparently like it does around where I'm at. So we're going to pretend that we have new instructor on the phone talking to ATC and talking to us and telling us where to go, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, and we need to get to, um, so hang on. An alternator? So yeah. So we're just using foreplay. <laughs> and we're going to see what happens. Uh, so clear all. Oh, shoot. And of course, I did the same thing that I did in, in, the, in the actual plane. Uh, what am I doing? There. Yes. No. That, no. Fly the plane. Direct two. Awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, our battery is gone. Our alternator is gone. We are flying blind except for poor flight. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, and we are supposed to stay 1,500. We're going to stay 1,500, so we're going to power up. We're going to head to the extended center line of uh, 8. runway 8. No, we're not descending. This is why you carry a red flashlight and a handheld radio. Right, right. <laughs> well, and... and the, uh, wait, so I still... Okay, sorry. I still would have my DG because that's off the engine. Ah, silly. Wait. Oh, and then I forgot to... Shoot. Shoot. I forgot a thing that I was supposed to do. Um, we're getting to the extended center line, but we're a little bit off, but that's okay. So we're going to start descending a little bit and get to 500 at the halfway. So we're going to start turning a little bit. <clears throat> so about, n we'll get to about a thousand feet. Hey, and look at that. And we'll... Again, hope for the best. But we're going to see how close we can get it just looking at four fly. <laughs> oh, so we're supposed to be descending. So powering out just a little bit. One nautical mile final, runway eight. Okay, what? Uh, we're a little high, so we're going to drop that. Looks like a, uh, I don't know. Okay, we're going to see what happens. Um, okay. There it is. Landing runway 8. And 500 feet. Okay, excellent. We're still above glide slope. We're going to... Um, car peak goes out. Mixture's full rich. Let's get back on center line. Dump a flap. Dump a flap. Dump a flap. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Gentle rudder. Gentle, gentle, gentle rudder. Oh my gosh. Nose up, nose up, nose up. 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, gosh. No. Uh, that was terrible. Awful. Yes, the DG is vacuum driven. Turn, turn. Turn coordinate. The turn coordinator would be gone. Yes. Yes. That was terrible. And I apologize for my terribleness. <sighs> yeah. That was that. My flaps didn't go down. Oh, that's right. I don't have battery. <laughs> my bad. Good news, it's only three to four months for them to fix the firewall these days. Yay! Excellent! <laughs> oh, gosh. Turn bank coordinator, hard to type and fly. Right! I'm, I'm sure. I'm sorry. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. And I did. I completely forgot about that. And then on um, the other one, the... I didn't do any radio calls. Oh, but again, I wouldn't have the radio. See, I forget these things. And... It is. It's one of those things that I didn't quite think about. Like I knew I wanted to do that stuff, but I was not prepared for doing it right then. And it is just something that I didn't really think about all the things that you don't have then. And how the way that you fly changes, how like the procedures change. Just a little bit. Other than just flying the plane. Oi. That was that was so terrible. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm trying to look for any reason that it wasn't just me being just horrendous. How was the weather? Still apparently calm. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Oi. Your landing wasn't that great either. Floated down half the runway. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, I would rather float than do whatever the heck I just did. Oh my goodness. Ugh, so we'll get to the FBO. We'll debrief that. And then um, I'm going to go over my flight from Friday. Just because it was. It was. It was, it was intense. And I wasn't expecting it. It was second lesson with this guy. And... I usually like to, where am I going? Plates. Well, we're just going to look. Ah, rudder. Can you not? Uh, uh, can I just go this way? Mm, break, 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 break. All right, hang on. I need the airport diagram. <laughs> I will do one thing right. So what? Why are you? Hang on. It's so small. Yes, I can turn this way. We're going to turn this way. Um... I don't know what's happening. We're just going to park. Okay, yeah. So, look it. There's a bunch of lights. Just floating lights. So, are they supposed to have poles on them? I assume. <laughs> oh, okay. So, we're going to do our the thing. Um, we would close our flight plan. <laughs> um remembering that and then we would uh we don't have any battery so all that stuff is irrelevant kind of we'll 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 go through the the process though uh avionics would go off all the lights are off and mixture goes out um and Magnetos go off. Off, I say. Well. Arr. Okay, that's fine. 
Oh, and then we look how pretty everything is. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, excellent. All right. So first, we'll nav map to see that. Uh, yeah. Uh, where is it? This thing? Yes. And this thing. And oops, uh, this thing. No. This way. Excellent. Rolling out. Oh, it's terrible. So terrible. Making it bigger. Boop. And uh, boop. Excellent. So, come back. We started so well, kind of. So we did. We went, we got up to 800, went direct to Emmy, um, then started going. And then I did. I looked at, it was around eight miles. Um because it's about yeah ma math <laughs> you think they just didn't model the light poles for performance reason oh okay uh, okay all right that's that's fine <laughs> apparently fairies exist in um microsoft flight simulator L loses a little immersion <laughs> that's okay it's fine so we did. So th this this was this was terrible. This I should have gone straight. It should have got. I should have been going straight there. Lost a lot of altitude because of that. And ended up not quite making it. So we cheated a little bit, and got there, and took off again. Thought we were gonna go this way, but we went direct. So we started getting on the approach, and we were going. And then oh no, we lost our battery. So we just went direct to the extended center line on four flight and went straight in. Had a terrible, terrible, terrible landing. Terrible. Terrible. And went and there and we parked horrendously as well. <laughs> this was a disaster, which I kind of expected just because emergency procedures. Yay. So now that was debriefing that. And now I will go over, let me, uh, hoping I don't, um, this one, open with paint. Excellent. Okay. Oops. So just making sure I shouldn't, this should not dox me. <laughs> um, not that. Not that. There it is. Okay. Um, there. And <gasps> la la la. So this was my um flight. Uh, any uh characteristics that would dox me have been taken out. Um, so took off here, foggled all the way. Ignore the bumpies. I was getting things under control. Did a DME arc. See, I can do things that are somewhat straight. Um, and went, did the thing, got cross country time, boop here, went here, foggles back on, went onto the radial. And then he starts talking to me. He's like, okay, so what would you do if your engine failed? And I went full deer in headlights because <laughs> I wasn't expecting it and I hadn't been thinking about it and everything leaks out when I don't utilize it all the time. So this is why I need to practice this stuff all the time. And he said, he was like, okay, so what are you going to check first? And I did. I full on forgot. I was like, uh, the mixture? No, uh, that'll be like number two. Uh, the fuel? That'll be like number four. Um, completely forgot about the carb heat because, of course. So carb heat. We check carb heat first because we have been in IMC. And that's potentially probably what it is. And you got to get it out so that it doesn't, it's not too late. So so that it wouldn't actually work. So Carby goes out. And then you check all the things, maintain best glide. ATC hopefully is gonna help you. So then, yeah, so then he's like, okay. He pulls the throttle. I was like, oh, we're doing this now? He's like, yep, we're doing this now. So we're going, we're going, trying to figure things out. And then he did, he, he's like, okay, what else are you gonna lose? I don't know. And so he covers up the vacuum stuff, of course. 
Uh, so, and that was what this stuff was. This was me trying to get over to this airport over here, which I, again, it's the same thing that I did on the little nav map is I went all the way over here when I should have been going kind of straight. Um, but then, yeah, so we got over here and he said at about 800 feet, you can take foggles off and land. So we get to 800 feet, take the foggles off. It's right there and we're high. So we basically dive bomb the runway. Uh, and we're getting on there and we're getting there and he's like, okay, go, go ahead. And apparently it would have worked. Apparently we would have survived. We might've overrun a little bit, but, um, we did, we went, we got out. So that was that one. We started climbing again and then he told me the entire story. So he was in this specific plane that he wasn't quite familiar with. He checked everything on pre-flight. Apparently the plane that he flew was supposed to have a really big drop on the carb heat but it only had a little drop. Um, so he wasn't familiar with that. And so there was something wrong with the carb heat where even when he pulled it out um, on that engine failure, it didn't work. So they did. They lost the engine. They're in IMC. It's blizzarding. So they get to this runway. They're at 800 feet. They come out of it. There's blowing snow. The only way that he saw the numbers, the edge of the number, the top of the numbers for a split second, and he just aimed for it, went. And as he's landing, the engine roars back to life. <laughs> so he panics and has to shut it down again. Oh, it was. It was it was insane. It was intense. Uh, so that was that was that story. And then he we get back up and we're getting flying again. And he's like, okay. So then there was this CFI that didn't um was a really good pilot apparently didn't work out very well as a cfi but lost his battery and alternator in in i in imc yeah so he's on the phone with this cfi talking to him and atc trying to coordinate that all he has is his four flight so that's what we did it was under the foggles so you can't see anything anyway so why go around so we went directly up, got to the extended center line of the airport at 1,000 feet, and then at around the halfway point, got to 500 feet, and then foggles off, and we were able to make a decent landing, not like the one that I just did. <laughs> so, and, and it was. So you don't have flaps then, um, and you don't have the... Yeah, the alt no, hang on. <laughs> now I got to remember. So you got your, you don't have, ooh, okay, now I'm trying to think. You got your pitot-static is fine. So airspeed's fine, altimeter's fine. Um, <laughs> vertical speed indicator's fine. Everything with a turn coordinator is fine. So that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. And then, yeah, no flaps. And that was all with four flight. He was able to land properly just with four flight because luckily it, it worked out nice. But didn't have any of the GPS stuff, none of the VOR, any of the navigation equipment, uh, no lights, no radios. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so that was that. That was um, interesting in real life. Um, what's the word, emergency procedures <laughs> on second day of flying with new instructor. And it really did open my eyes and not, not freak, freak me out is a, is a incorrect um, assessment of it. It just, the things that can go wrong and when you can't see anything, you have to be prepared for that. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> um, look at the beautiful sky. It's lovely, excellent. I wish it was. I wish it had been actual IFR on this. I tried to do it, but what GPS does the plane have? The plane that I fly in real life, um, it will have the Garmin 430. It has had the Garmin 430, but um, it was yeah it. It was broken, and so it got sent off to get 
redone and it's done now. It just needs to get put back into the plane. So yeah, so yeah, we've been kind of wor working around that a little bit, but yeah. So yeah, no battery, no GPS, only for flight. <laughs> no VOR, only for flight. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of things. Lots of things. And I am I'm I'm really grateful to have had that experience and have someone who does teach that and has had that experience in real life uh to bring that into the lessons. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm looking forward to keeping on keeping on. What if the tablet battery dies? Well, and that's the thing. Then I would plug it in. I would plug it. Hang on. Because the cigarette lighter runs on the engine, correct? So I would have the cigarette lighter, but I also have a little battery pack. Um, I would also, if that doesn't work, I would attempt to utilize FlightAware on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, Depending on what the conditions are, if you can get get down low enough and go VFR, or if you're okay, so then so last communications procedure is if you're on an IFR flight plan, is you do the highest altitude of the minimum en route altitude or whatever altitude ATC gave you or what ATC told you to expect, the highest one of those, and follow whatever route either either what was given to you, what were you told what you were told to expect next, um, or what you filed. So you're supposed to follow those things. So then it's just a matter of, well, but again, hang on. So then you'd pull out your paper sectional and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's, that's why that, well, and again, and that's why he was, so say the tablet battery dies. Hopefully your phone's still working. You're on the phone. <laughs> talking to somebody who's talking to ATC and getting vectors. Uh, yeah. Got to hit the hay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yes. Um, is it? Yes. It is Wednesday tomorrow. Excellent. Sounds good. Yes. See you tomorrow. Good night. Um, so yeah, so that's, there are all this stuff is incredibly helpful. And in most circumstances, you're probably going to have it. But it's those like 1% of the time where something goes terribly, horribly wrong and you got to figure things out. So, yeah. <laughs> if everything goes wrong, just keep flying the plane and hope for the best. So, yeah. So, hopefully you were able to <sighs> see potential. Well, uh... Hopefully you can find VFR conditions and just go from there. <laughs> That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Your handheld radio does VOR, which is nice as a backup. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So if you do, if you have a bunch of backups, that's nice. But then what happens when all your backups fail? <laughs> Not likely, but it can happen. Yeah. <sighs> You think the new one has GPS too? That's very nice. Excellent. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. So then, yeah, you got, you got, you got all of them. So technically, I'm just trying to think. Again, that would be emergency procedure at that point, or emergency circumstances. So you use what you what you use what you gotta. Because I don't think, yeah, handheld stuff does not count for actual filing and utilizing illegally but once you get to that emergency situation you just do what you do you do what you gotta do 
Hopefully that never happens. That's why we have all of the hopefully safeguards. The pre-flight, pre-check, maintenance. Oh, but that was a thing. So um the what happened was the carb heat in new instructor's plane, there was something, there was an airworthiness directive that had not been taken care of. I think. And so, yeah, it's one of those like trusting who, who, who do you trust to take care of whatever plane that you're flying. So he had his own people take, take care of it after that. And yeah. Oh, sorry. And and one of them can even do ILS. Excellent. Very nice. And yeah, no, but it's nice to have extra op- options. Always. Always. And that's why this is a expensive hobby. <laughs> and just in general, um, a stronger word for hobby, but not quite at a job. Passion. There we go. What kind of plane was it? <sighs> So I think it was a Mooney. I think it was a Mooney. Um, so, yeah. Lot, lots of learning. Lots of learning happened on that day that I was not expecting. But like I said, I am incredibly grateful for. And the fact that he said most instructors don't teach that stuff boggles my mind. But at the same time, yeah. I, I understand where they're coming from. If if you're just teaching for the sake of passing check ride, it's basically just the procedures. However, for actual proficiency and safety, you teach these things and you get it in. And that's why the fact that I've already forgotten that you pull the dang car heat, that was an eye opener. So, yeah. And it was, it was, I'm trying, I want to say it was Mooney. Other than that, I don't know. I'm still learning my planes, so I apologize. Too bad it's going to storm tomorrow. You want to take the plane out to a fly-in? The weather can always change, but always check. (laughs) Even before, even right before you're going. Always be double, triple checking. <laughs> it can always change for the better. It can always change for the worse. I hope you get a chance to. If if things go well, but otherwise. I hope you get to another one at some point. That'll be fun. I'll get, I'll get off of this so you guys aren't. Ah, where is it? Um, Flight Sim goes off and goes new. And I'll get to pretty music here. Escape. Main menu. There. It's like severe outlook with possible tornadoes. Okay, yeah, then um, I hope you stay on the ground <laughs> and safe. <laughs> it's, it's okay to miss the fly-in as long as you're safe. There shall be more. I can take this off now. Ugh. <sighs> so yeah, so that was kind of a disaster but like that's kind of the point <laughs> um yeah instrument cross country as usual um some clearance stuff that I'm trying to work on and understand oh and the temp is in the 90s I I uh <laughs> cooking in the tin can <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, I think it's going to be, it's getting around hot. It was humid today where I am and it's going to be hot like the rest of the week too. So, ugh, it's, ugh. yeah, performance is going to be, ugh. Uh, yes, so instrument cross country with uh, very attempted emergency procedures they were terrible. I didn't do all the things that I should have. Um, but yeah, debrief of that. And also debrief of in real life flight. Ha. Yeah. And we'll see if I do 
more of those. That one was kind of special, and I think the I don't know. We'll 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 see how more lessons go. So yes, that was that. Um, I'm still unsure about getting back to Thursdays. Um, we'll see. Uh, Sunday, I'm thinking of doing some escape games, kind of. Just some chill escape games. I love escape games. I love escape rooms. So we'll try some of those, see how that goes. Because last one I actually did the whole wandering around the house, turning on lights. I had to do that in order to go to bed because I had to check all the windows and doors because that's what I do. And it was kind of, it was kind of, it was a little bit freaky. So we're going to do something chill on Sunday. And then, of course, more flying on Tuesday. And we'll keep adding more stuff in. And yeah, keeping on, keeping on. It gets colder the more you go up so you can find cooler air. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> but it's up until that point <laughs> where it's just, oi, and a mess. And at some point, you got to come back down, too. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, if you ever got lost and found their way here or found their way back, <laughs> thanks for being here. Um, I had a good time. I hope you did, too. And, again... Terrible, terrible landing and all sorts of things. But, yeah. We tried. We went through the procedures. We learned some things. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Have a great whatever it's going to be for you. Um, good luck tomorrow. I'm guessing it's probably not going to go. But, I mean, you never know. Um, and other than that, yeah, I think that's it. If I forgot anything, I'm sorry. Brady's bush. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> and bye. <laughs> you too. Thanks.